Hello and welcome to Q Sports International and Predator as we present the Alpha Las Vegas Open. 192 players began playing 10 ball for this $125,000 prize fund. We are in day four and down to the final 16. This is stage two where it's two sets, best of seven games. If the sets are tied, it'll be settled by a third and deciding set. But if that third set is tied at three, it goes to a shootout. It's single elimination, and it's a $25,000 first prize. We are at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino, and you see Sanjin Pelovanovic from Bosnia and Herzegovina, 21-year-old, and he faces Bu Kun Lin, 27, from Taiwan, our 2021 Las Vegas Open champion. Our referee racking the balls here to get things started. This is the final 16. The winner here goes to the final eight and will be played in the quarterfinals. The loser, of course, will be um, waiting until Monday when we start the Predator World 10 Ball Championships, WPA. Wu to break as he won the lag. Three foul rule. No early tens. I mean, no tens on the break. No early uh, Early tens are encouraged <laughs> and uh, will win you the game. I said that twice, these guys. One ball straight to the side pocket. Position on the deuce. Wide open. <laughs> they cut this on the side, I believe, and come around to where he just pointed to get on the three. To shoot past the nine. Wu, to get in this position, defeated Andrew Kong Bu Hong. Jan Lin by drop, Kang Li, and Yu Lung Chang. And he finds himself in this final 16. It's Chinese Taipei player. He had a great 2021 as he won here in Las Vegas. The Rio Al Suites Hotel and Casino, where we held hold this event every year. Four ballrooms full of the new Predator seven foot tables. And of course, the Predator ninth foot. We have 18 of them for the pros. We're, st we're uh, streaming two tables. Dead. Deadly aim on this four ball coming up for the five. In perfect position to go to the six and seven hanging over the side, but won't go to the side, so you have to play it to the corner. He's looking to see where he wants the skew ball so he can get a good line on the seven ball on the six ball to go to the seven with just enough angle to come back for the eight. Sanjin doing well from Bosnia. Kind of just waiting his turn to get into uh, get to the table. Give himself a little more angle than he than he wanted, I believe. Unless he's going to go two rails across and play the seven in the same pocket, which is what he just noted or pointed. That's why I wanted the steeper angle. Wondered about that. Well, 
that was almost trouble. Half a ball. More to the more to the left here, and he gets behind the nine instead of into the nine. Well, quarter ball, he would have been in trouble. Now he's perfect, go to the eight. The opening game in this race to four. And Sanjin gets a good good break that he went so far up table with the cue ball, leaving himself longer on the seven. Twenty-one-year-old from Bosnia, Herzegovina, sponsored by Predator. Nice stroke on that ball. He's gotten too straight on it. I think he has enough angle to. Oh no, he's got a little bit of angle where he can draw off. And to the side rail and up towards the nine to be a lot closer. Now I would follow this around three rails to the spot he just pointed just past the side pocket for the 10 in the pocket where he is standing now. He's going to go two rails across. Very accurately done. Avoiding both side pockets in that little positional shot. And straight in on the 10 to where it's, you might say, it's unmissable. And Sanjin wins the first game, even though Wu broke and was looking pretty strong to um, break and run the rack. But that seven ball just, um, he, when he went back and forth on the table, he got too far up table and away from it. Missed it, coming down for the eight. Also sponsored by Kamui, has his uh, little badge on his shirt there, T-shirt tells us. Breaking the balls here. Sanjin defeated Lucas Fracasso Werner. I'm sorry, lost to Lucas in his first round and has defeated Hirosh Hiroshi Takenaka, Radoslav Babika, Harold Stolka, Simon Kudal, and Alex Kazakis to get to the final 16. He actually, after his first loss to Lucas, never lost a set in the five matches he played after losing his first round. Has yet to lose his set after the after losing um, two sets in the first round. I had not watched him play this year. I have watched him play in the past and he is a outstanding player as, as, as a lot of these really young guys. Um, uh, Zelensky. There's several players that kind of almost look alike and uh, Mickey Krause, this young man right here. They just top players are just really future stars. Ooh, 
calling for a push out. Who playing an amazing match in 2021. Or tournament, excuse me. He played very well to win that, if I remember correctly. He's here for it. I don't believe I called this match the, the finals match. Long shot on this ball. I think he can. I'm not sure if he can pocket the ball. If he can go by the five. He might just be banking it down and back up. No, he's right for the pocket. Try to go off the off the off the nine. I didn't think he could cut it though. So he was playing it off the nine ball. Nine feet away, pretty much, and on the rail. safety here as Wu decides exactly where he wants to put it. We're going to ride by these two and up against a 4-6 which made perfect sense with both balls being there. Now Sanjin gets the, the jump cue out. Deciding whether to Try to jump and cut it in or bank it down table and try to stay safe. Keep the uh, cue ball up there without scratching in that corner. I wonder if we just hold it there. Well, it, looks like, it looks like he's trying to make this one ball. Could fly off the table doing that. He, not trying, he did. What a great jump shot. Trying to write down as a highlight reel. That's a great shot. Another jump shot. Decided to just bank it up and take the cue ball, try to get behind the 5 6 again, I believe. Oh, he hit the 5 going in. I think he was trying to hit the top of it and go catch the side rail, come over uh, to the left side of the table here. Instead, Woo gets ball in hand. The 4-9 combo is not a problem. Uh, it is a problem. Take that back. Good camera angle there, but he's going he's gonna to play safe here. Up behind the 7? Almost. Almost. But instead, he's got him behind the 5-6. Some little tricky stuff going on down here with that 2-4-9. He's going to mass a around the 6 ball to hit this 2 ball and try to hold the cue ball there. And he found the window between the 5 and the 10 and the 2 ball uh, to the side pocket.
still got the 4-9 to contend with, but I think he can, if he kicks off the bottom rail there, it makes the 9. Hits the rail first, might come up and make the 9. It's tight. Don't know if he can get underneath it or not. He's going to try to open it up, and he did. Made it worse or better. He tapped the four. Pretty basic kick shot on this four ball. Nine ball's big. And it opens up just right. Pockets the nine, as intended. Left himself a nice, nice shot on the four. The five ball readily available. And it just, that was a, that was a rack winner. All he has to do now is just uh, close out these remaining five balls. And he's got, he's got a room to, to draw. He looks like he's going to want to draw this ball. Unless it's, I can't tell. He's just going to want to draw and play the six ball. Probably in the same pocket. No, he wants more. He drew, drew to the rail and back out to play the six ball in the opposite pocket. And then go to the seven. with him pointing to where he's going, I can just sit here and watch it just like you guys are at home. And straight in on the 10 wall. To take game number two. We're gonna take a one minute break and be right back folks. Back to break the balls. Didn't take long at all. It's like he's right down the middle with his eyesight there. Six ball. 
Four. Six ball on the break. It lined up with the one three. Players have been rather successful breaking on this table. Um, last two matches I've called here. They've had success making balls and as the talent goes up, the break gets better. He's opened this up rack completely. Now it's just a matter of getting the cue ball to the center of the table, with the exception for the nine, and to get to the ten. So I would, uh, I can see Sanjin just working this rack to completion and getting on the hill for the first set. Off to a very good start. against rail or just stop it there and play the seven in the side or the corner. Stay on the same side or close to the seven for the eight using two rails to come down for the nine. Extensions a 30 second extension per rack per player. There are 60 seconds after the break. Three foul rule is in effect. Ten ball on the break does not count. Early tens are winners. Just got to call it. You can't call two balls at one time, so ten ball has to be called. In case of shooting a carom, you have to call one or the other. If a ball is pocketed in the wrong pocket, it is the incoming player's option to put the other player back in if he doesn't like the result or the shot when he comes to the table. He just pointed to where he wants to go. And with the angle that he has, looks like he's going to have to hit the head rail and run straight down. No, he's, he's going to wrap it out of the corner. He's got enough angle. I didn't think so at first from the other camera view. Well, he's landed low, so he, he might slow roll, but I like him going around the table. Taking the 10 ball to either one of the two corners, actually, depending how he wants to go around. Oh, there's a side pocket there. Ouch. I like going three rails for that shot. But he, he put a little bit of right hand spin, a little bit of right hand uh, low English to catch the rail long and go two rails to get to the spot where the cue ball is now. And instead of leading three to one, Sanjin finds himself only leading by a game. Wu, very happy to have that little error that you're just watching on your screen of scratching. There's three ballrooms here filled with over 300 tables for the league players. 
in the BCA Pool League and the USA Pool League. One is having their world championships, the other is having their national championships as part of the CSI Expo. We are sponsored by Q Sports International, Predator Group, Alpha Coin, Kamui, Cybert's Village Supply, Medaya Live Beer, and Runs of Puerto Rico, along with Jam of Apparel. And we're glad you joined us to watch these Pro Billiard Series events. And we've seen some fantastic pool. Earlier today, I had the privilege of, of a comment. Oh, cue ball, and it went in. Good break for Sanjan and makes up for what he gave up on the scratch on the last game. But in order for it to, to gain him a game, he's got to run him out or control the table to a win. Two ball in the side pockets as he's looking at it right now. It's about the only pocket he's got without trying to break something up. And it lays pretty nice for this. Just come over towards the three with the cue ball. Use a little inside. Come out for the three, come out for the three in the right hand corner pocket. Now things line up pretty cool. Middle of the table, he runs out pretty much yep, every ball. Joey Tate. Excuse me. Well, folks, they don't want me to be here all alone. So they've sent someone to help me out. <laughs> Up and coming talent, Mr. Payne McBride. Hello, everybody. So how's this going, George? Well, it just got started, and... Uh, Sanjin had a chance to go up 3-0, but he took a two-rail two rail positional shot and turned it into a scratch in the side pocket, giving Wu uh, a gift. But then Wu has handed him back this fourth game uh, with a gift. So uh, he didn't pay too dear a price for the scratch. So, Payne, you've been in this tournament. How's things going for you? They went great. They did? Um, I lost one match out of the final 64. So I don't know what place so, that is. So you got to the final 64? Or no. one match out of? Like, yeah, one uh, match out uh, of Well, there's, there, was an, there was a little bit of money for that, wasn't there? No. No? Okay, you were just out if of If I would have won that. Yes, okay. Gotten. Yeah, there was that. A little bit. No. How's they been breaking? The, this table's breaking great. Every, uh, both both players have broken good on it. I haven't seen too many players break real good this week. Um, well, all day today, I've watched everybody break real really good. Really? Yes. Okay. So either the table's breaking better, and I think part of the reason is this room is full of people. And I do recall coming into this room yesterday. The moisture and a little bit warmer. Okay. It, was, it was very cold yesterday and the day before. And today, um, you can feel it's a little warmer. And I think it changes conditions for the way the table breaks. Get that one a little bit light there. It's, well, I mean, how much do you practice the spot shot? I was practicing a lot before this event. Oh, sure, I can imagine. And, and you know, one of the things about the spot shot that I've noticed is, uh, first and foremost, you want the stroke that goes with it. But it really hones your eyes for the little cuts like yeah. uh, like this is, for either close or far away shots. And since you're further away, it really helps um, focus. Good shot there, I see. Mm -hmm. Sanjin's playing very well. He, he lost his opening set, and then played five sets after that, never losing the set. Uh, match five, five matches, matches afterwards, wow. never losing the set. What a comeback. Yeah. A referee racking the balls again. So, uh, um, did you win any matches? 
Yeah, I won a couple. Yeah, to I get to where you got, you sure you yeah. did. Sorry. <laughs> I lost to Bader. He's in the Bader he's playing on table one. Yeah, yeah. He's still there. He's, he's, he's kicking cool. real good. He's right the now. top player out of the Middle East. Yeah. Yeah. He's kicking incredible. He's playing great too. And you and you took off who? Um, my first round, I got a forfeit from Dan, Donnie Mills. Okay. So I would have rather just played. <laughs> <laughs> and then I lost to Justin Martin. There's no shame in losing to Justin, no, top American not. player, uh, Moscone hopeful. Yeah. I would love to see him on the Moscone Cup this year. Yeah. But I played decent in that one. How did and you feel, you know, in this tournament? Uh, I haven't played real big tournaments. He wants you a little closer. Okay, sorry. There you go. I haven't played... Last tournament I played was Puerto Rico three okay. months ago. So, I, of course, I was a little nervous, but I like that. Mm -hmm. That's the reason I play. Okay, good. You like you, 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 you like that tightness, huh? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's a great feeling, especially especially when you can settle in. You can be nervous, but you can still be settled in. Oh, yeah. And um, you got to have the good mix of both. Yeah. Well, it, you know, it, it draws out your firepower, really. Yeah. Was that dry? That was dry as he takes his place in his chair. Yeah. Everything looks open here. And we will move the skew ball right towards the five from the one for one position to the on ball the two. Is tough. Yeah. Is he gonna go is he gonna try and go through the one of the or the three and the five? Uh, no, I uh, I would come right towards the five with right low English. Just stroke it right past. You could do both. Yeah. Basically, the window between the three nine. Well, he went underneath it. Okay. But look what happened. He didn't I get there, I don't think. No, no, he's he's in trouble. Yeah, here, it looks like. I haven't watched Wu play that much. Uh, he won the 2021 Diamond Las Vegas Open. Really? But, uh, He's kicking it. This is a one. Uh, this, that's a one pocket shot. You kick <laughs> it off. You kick it off the head rail into the side rail. Oh yeah. And right towards your pocket. It's a good shot. Yes. Now tell 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 everyone where you're from and um, and your age and um, and your history as far as your pool history goes. <laughs> well, I'm from Indiana. I'm from Middletown, Indiana, a real small town. Um, I'm 16. I'm real good friends with Joey Tate. Mm -hmm. well, that's why I called <laughs> you when you first came up. Everybody says I look like Joey. <laughs> when you came up, I just glanced up and I said, Joey Tate. Because <laughs> I had just seen him on, on the Salado table. Uh, he's, he's still so over there. Okay, yeah. I just I walked by him there, so I thought maybe that's who Vince sent me. And uh, trying to carry him the two off the game. Folks, the reason we're, we're, we're pulling a, a lot of guest uh, commentators is Jim Weich is down with a, uh, quite a little cold here that oh he came down with. And uh, so uh, we have Mark and, uh, T and Tim, our other commentators, on table one. I and hope Jim gets better. They decided to, to, to feed me to the wolves. <laughs> And then I've had internet problems uh, with the, w the website problems, not so much internet problems uh, on Pro Billiard Series. So like the first match that I started, uh, the last match I just commentated, for the first 20 minutes, I, I, I couldn't get the information couldn't that I needed. Couldn't look at scores? I, I couldn't look at anything that I wanted to look at. They and threw you under the bus, didn't they? Well, it's not, they didn't throw me under the bus. <laughs> the had, without, the, without the internet problems, I would have been okay. Yeah. I, felt, I felt I would have. And plus the time to prepare. They told me three minutes when I was over in the other room. Yeah. Got three minutes to get there. Oh, <laughs> boy. So it's fun. I mean, uh, it's no excuses, but, you know, because uh, I, I normally like to really prepare for, uh, for, for this, for a match with information. So yeah. I can just, so I can just read it off. That and means and you're good at your job. Well, it, it, it apparently I'm not as good as I <laughs> could be if I didn't have this iPad that uh, has let me down today. But back to the match. He chose to play this four ball in the corner. I like that. Well, 
the thing about playing to the corner pocket is if he doesn't get straight uh, perfect on the four, he's got to run the cue ball. Here he doesn't run the cue ball. And he's lined up exactly where he wants to be. And now he can, he can dictate where he's going to put the cue ball and ensure himself an angle off the five and the six to go to the seven. You mean if he played it the other way, he would have had to have a perfect cue ball? Uh, to play it in the side. If, if he yeah. gets the wrong yeah. angle, yes. Okay, I was agreeing with you. Yeah, if you don't get the, when you're playing balls to the side pocket, if you don't get the correct angle on the ball, well, now you're going to have to work harder. That shows up on the bar table a lot. Uh, it shows up a lot more here on shots, for instance, when you have to run the cue ball three rails around. Yeah. And you get too straight, and you're on the wrong side. Now, I've seen guys just jack up and really fire, and it gets away from you. <laughs> You've missing a straight-in shot, but they're yeah. hitting the ball so hard to work it around. So for those of you who didn't catch it, it's Payne McBride. Is our other commentator. How are you guys doing? Who looks like he gets real outside of the cue ball. Um, oh, he's stroking. Yeah, but he uh, his, his position, he plays his angles very, yeah, very he does. well. Very well. He's just coming straight towards that side pocket. Oh, no, he, the rock says he's drawing the ball. Yeah, but he's drawing it. He just came straight down for position. I, I thought he was going to play to the other corner till I saw on the screen that the 10 ball had <laughs> it blocked. I like running the ball around like that, just perfectly with a good speed, nice little stroke. Oh yeah. Straight in ten ball. Wu takes game five. So let's see. When you're not playing these events, what is it that you uh, that you are? Where you spend your time? Well, Practicing pool? Yeah, I do that a lot. Okay. There's not many pool halls in Indiana. Oh, okay. I don't get to play as many tournaments as I would like to. But I like playing basketball. I like playing chess. Oh, it's, there you go. But I practice a ton at home just because I like the game. Mm -hmm. oh, That's about right. it. There's not much to do out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you could find a lot. There's yeah. a lot. But playing pool is takes a lot of your time. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. There's still a match going on. Um, Who else so playing right now? 2 o'clock. Uh, Duong Quoc Hong is playing Kopi Yi. And Wang leads, won the first set and leads the second set 3 to 2. And Kopi Ping Yi and um, Feder Gorse played on this table earlier. One of the best Co matches, one, right? Yeah, one of the best I matches I've ever seen. I wanted to watch that one you real bad. You missed a fantastic <laughs> I dug match. it, didn't I? Yeah. I tell you, I'm serious. Um, uh, it was a great match. Meanwhile, Wu looks like it's going to be dry, but nothing offensive on the one. In fact, it's going to have to go to a push. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a good kick for for Sander. If you can see any part of it here, he'll be happy. Very happy. Might make the difference with pushing or no, he can't see any part of this ball. How do you feel about them tapping the balls before each tournament, George? Tapping the balls before each turn in the rack. Um, no, I, I I don't know. I've never really given it much thought. I see it done, and I wonder. Well, I wouldn't do it on my table. Why are they doing <laughs> it on these tables? So I guess that's how I feel about it. Makes sense. What did he push to here? Uh, he pushed to a, a safety. He's going to just put, uh, slide the one ball down and. You have the cue ball just come up right behind the nine. Just do it real soft. Or he might you can play the combo. He can play the combo. The nine would stop his cue ball. Mm -hmm. If he misses, he gives it up. Yeah, he does. That's why 
That's why you, uh, I like the safety. But you have to slow roll it. Yeah. You really have to roll it. You can't really stroke it. So he gave uh, it back. It, it can get the safety can get away, and the combo can be more than missed because, as you can see, the two balls off the rail just a little more than the one is. Yeah. I think he's gonna hit it a little hard. Yeah, it worked out. Still well. got Wu. He left a jump shot, though. Yeah, and Wu was very good with it. Very handy with the jump shot. <laughs> As most of you guys are. Most of the pros are. Yep. Yeah, most of all you young guys. Um, most of the juniors, I see, as soon as there's a, a opportunity, they take the jump cue. <laughs> I need to practice with them a little bit. Do you? I do. Are you sponsored by anyone? Predator. You're sponsored by Predator. Sponsored so by you Predator. have your B, you have your air rush? Yes, I do. I haven't a, I haven't gotten a try to I haven't gotten a chance to try the air rush with the wrap. Oh. With the wrap? Yeah. With that's the sport a, grip? That's a, is that is that the air rush is the jump cue, right? Yes. Why would it have a sport grip? They came out with a new one with the sport grip. Uh, oh wow! I never heard of a um, jump cue with a sport grip. Okay. I'm sponsored by Jam Up as well. Oh yeah, great. And Pods of Columbus, Ohio. Oh, the the moving boxes. Yep. Wow. Portable on-demand storage. Yeah, I have make some four of you and, and make it a, 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 a twenty by twenty room and put a pool table <laughs> in the backyard. <laughs> Probably good. Yeah. Meanwhile, Sanjin will come right between the 9-5 for the three, and uh, I don't see any problems with the run on Not anymore. None whatsoever. They solved them all. That one shot took care of all of it, and that's how it usually is. You have one problem ball, you take care of that, and uh, now just hold your nerve. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking with you earlier, and uh, was it with Tyrell? And, you, and that was your, uh, oh, that's right, he was standing next to your mom and you were playing. So I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, it was, it was Tyrell and somebody else was there. I forgot was who it was. Was it Cash Lance? Yes, it was Cash Lance. Yeah. He's another junior. Mm -hmm. What's going on in the women's, Troy? Really? I haven't really paid much attention to it because I've just been really focused on, on the direct me from the table to table. Okay. Um, but uh, they started, they're out, they're out there working. I haven't even looked at the it. The tournament has just yeah. started. It started yesterday. I called the women's match yesterday. Right here on this table. Who was it? Uh, Margaret Tefilova and Alexandra Kova. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen her play. I think she's, well, she was playing right behind us. She was playing right behind us. She's a 19-year-old, I think, from, uh, I forgot what it was from. Actually, I can tell you where she was from because I have my notes. But, um, Sadie's doing a good job with this rack. Could get a little touchy here. Oh, he's going to shoot the seven all the way down. And I also called the Sophia Masta in Weiwei. I think I did see that one. Yeah, she's from Russia. She's a real youth champ. Sweet. This is a very, these shots are funny. It's very, it's a very makeable shot. It is. But it's also very easy to miss it. It's pretty deceiving. Mm-hmm. You get a little thick. Yeah, it kind of came, it started to come off. If that pocket was just a little further down, it might have uh, rattled. But he hit it good enough. And he's here good enough. Now see right here, I wouldn't mind just bumping the nine ball just a little, a little bit of draw. Yeah. And nudging it to the side pocket. I think he has an, oh. If he has enough. I was going to say he has an there. option to go forward. Yep. And he did. Okay. Now you would go around two rails here, yeah. three rails, yeah. or just stop it? I would go three. Would you really? You wouldn't just stop it there from <laughs> sort of? <laughs> We're kidding you, folks. 
right. Sanjin so should take the first set. Sanjin for the first set, this 10 ball. He does. Good out by Sanjin. I think anyway, it looks like we're going to take a pay player break. So if the players are going to take a break, I believe we're going to run some either highlights or an interview for you. Which one? I'm not sure. Wow, look at him. He, he went right two minutes. Yeah, I know. But he didn't even hit the floor. I thought he was going to yeah. hit the floor, but he hit the one side kick. He's in the one rail. That's right. Oh, beautifully played. Didn't see him call anything. Oh, and he has got it. He's got it. He did call it. We'll soon find out. He has. He's called the 10. He's called the 10. He's got the 10. What a shot. Straight in and around. Look around at this. Look world. at this. He's going to get right on the threes. He nudged the three out <laughs> over the side. He's perfect. See? Yep. He got that shot. I think you misconstrued, George. Look oh, look at the this tucking, first shot. Beautiful shot. Or yeah. the combo, either one. Yeah. Yeah. Depends where he ends up. He makes the bank. Very hangable, too. Oh, what a cut that was. Again, this is a lot of power in this. Oh, how good did he hit that? Brilliant. The rail. Oh my, what a wow, shot. That was a hell of a shot right there. Hell of a shot what a right shot. There. Shot him completely out. I like that shot. It, yeah. so I like that shot. shot. How he hit this one. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Very well executed. Look at that. Wow. Remind me of the same pocket. How well does this kid play? Skyler? Yeah. Oh, it's been 10 years. Oh, years. He's banked it in. There you see our referee waiting for the players, Sam Rabito from Olympia, Washington. Here comes Sanjin. And here comes Wu at the top of your screen. Do you know what happens if they take too long a break? Uh, no, I actually don't. I uh, haven't had that happen yet. I hope it doesn't, but I, <laughs> I'm curious as to what happened. I'm not even sure how long they give them. I think it's a, is it a five? Well, you played. What did they tell you? Five minute break? I don't know. Worst? I went to the break one, or I went to the bathroom once, and they turned the timer on, but I only used like four minutes. Well, well then I, th I think it's a five minute break. That's what I would guess. But as we can see, Sam's racking the balls with the arrow rack and uh, the Predator Arco balls on that Predator Arcadia reserve cloth. There's two types of cloth, which I wasn't aware of till I was really? starting to read some. Uh, yeah, there's a reserve cloth, which is the blue turtle yeah. cloth, and there's a Select? Predator Select, exactly. Oh, okay. Okay. And those are all the different colored cloths um, that they make for your for your home table. or a, you know, for a That makes sense. Something. I think and I've seen them around. And mm -hmm. All the ads they put up, I didn't make the connection. Yeah. And then, of course, the uh, 
Predator Apex table with the lights on the legs. They're pretty good. I do like the lights. Uh, the the reserve cloth, I believe, is. I, I know it's at least the third generation because they've updated it and updated it and it's yeah. been improved. And it's improved. doing great now. Yeah, it's. Uh, it, it, they've they, they've uh, they found the secret, or they've woven the secret. I will be brutally honest here. I used to not like it. I used to think it was too fast. Uh, you and a lot of the other pros. Yeah. That's why they made the changes. <laughs> you know, one of the things about, pre I've been working with Predator, you know, not, uh, I've been working with CSI, yeah. uh, doing these uh, uh, tournaments and doing commentary for them. But since they've been, since they went with Predator and been working with Predator, I get to see some of the things Predator does. Yeah. And one thing that they do is they respond to criticism, criticism, complaints, uh, improvements. They they have no problem going back to the drawing board and doing it right because that's, that's what they're here for. That's what makes a great company. Well, e exactly. You know, on their equipment, and on well, all their all their product. And it's a great marriage between CSI and Predator in where uh, CSI provides the pool leagues, Predator provides products. Okay. They Stuff provide to the play equipment. on, the equipment, and those, and those are the people that buy their products. Always wondered how it worked. Should just kick the one up the table, right? Okay. Hit the left side of it from where he's looking. Hit the left side of it so that oh, it can go down. Like that. Yeah, exactly. It's a choice you'd have to make, pref uh, personal preference, because you hit the, the left side of it, the cue ball could come back behind those two balls. Yeah. Uh, if you hit the right side of it, of course, you're going to go towards the corner pocket, which is open, but there's balls to hide behind. I'm looking at the table differently. He was in the wrong place. <laughs> they moved it. See, you can play this. If you play the cue ball towards the six, it's a shot to go for. Because he's, he's going to have to run the cue ball to what? Yeah. 13 feet. He's going to have to run the cue ball no matter what, yeah. right? This is a makeable shot. So go ahead and the two six isn't bad if he ha ends up on that side of the table. But I would go ahead and just use high English on here and come straight up. He, Cue ball should be going towards the six. Ah, the ten ball. Put down outside the on it. Yeah, with straight high, he's going to go towards the six and uh, lead you, you know, to the for the two in the corner. I think the camera angle was deceiving me for a little bit. It does me quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was seeing it wrong for a little. Hey, actually, this overhead's a little a little better, but you can still still get confused by it. Where's he going with this? Back behind all these balls, two rails. Oh. Okay. And he's played it beautifully. Oh, Ooh. no, just, well, I think the four ball has him, but if it doesn't, he was trying to get behind on the rail, behind the nine. Yeah. That's actually one of my, if there's a wall of balls there, that's one of my favorite safeties, yeah. with the exception of, uh, you know, falling in that corner, two rails. There was so much traffic over on that side of the table. It's one side of the game that interests you more than others. It's the safety the play safety. and the kicking. Yeah. Well, play some billiards. It'll really help you. I love their cushion. Mm -hmm. Play some one pocket. That helps you too. The safeties, <laughs> especially when you're, you know, uh, back half of the table or something like that. Oh, yeah. I wish I could play more one pocket. I don't have as many people to play. <laughs> But uh, just do some drills on um, off of YouTube. There's quite a few now. But in fact, Marker Fefalova has some good drills. Uh, Fetter has great drills. Fet on oh, his. I was just that was my very next. <laughs> Fetter has some great drills. Darren Appleton has some pretty complicated drills. I don't think I've looked at his. He's got some good ones, and uh, but they're they're tough. But, but I haven't. Seen that. I've heard he's got a couple of really good ones for um, uh, yeah, for amateurs. He's got some really good uh, drills. 
YouTube's become a very popular place, and a lot of people are utilizing it. Yeah, it has. Um, becomes a great place for the juniors to just soak up information. Well, see, juniors uh, today, as opposed to, you know, when, uh, 20 years ago, Yeah. everybody keeps their secrets close to their vest back then, yeah. 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Probably whatever. had to, didn't you? Well, if you give them out, they're going to come back and play you for it, and you're going to you're going to you're going to lose money because you you taught them how to do what they have to do to beat you. Yeah, and so you don't say nothing. But now uh, they want to see people improve, and they don't have a problem sharing their talent, or their knowledge. This could be a big chance for Wu. Did it, did it, not, did it, it didn't get back behind the tent. Okay. Four no on the side? No, the four balls blocked by the. It might go by the nine. It must go by the nine. He just got there. Yep. Still another tough shot here. Yeah, he's going to slide it by. One of the things I've noticed here is when you have a real. It's like, like he wants to catch the rail. Uh, and having the nine ball there, you focus on making sure you miss the nine, yeah. and you end up hitting it. Now the pros aim a lot better than than, than most of us normal. Yeah. Pros. So overdoing it does cause a lot. Cause a lot. Oh, of he's error. not going to bother. He didn't even try it. And you know, I see a lot of this uh, due to the fact that it's such a short race. And you know, uh, and um, if you don't get out, or if you if you go for the out. That might be a little questionable, like that shot there. Yeah. Uh, and you miss it. Well, they're going to run out on you now, and it's yeah. only a race to four, so you don't have time to make up uh, a gamble. Yeah. Per se. You got to play the best percentages in those. So. Uh, so you just you don't go for shots that are, you know, less than 75, 80 percent. That worked out real nice for you. Actually, closer to 90%. <laughs> you just don't go for them. If the safety is 100% and the shot is 75, I'm going to go for the safety. Yeah, because you can't do that but how many times yeah. over an entire tournament. But if the shot gets you out and it's 90%, well, then I'll go for the shot. Yeah. So in stage two of the tournament, they go to three sets, right? And if they that goes hill, hill, there's a shootout. Instead of the shootout, it goes to a third set. But if that gets tied at three, now it goes to a shootout. And so far, I've seen one, two, three, at least three um, matches go there. I just watched uh, Chang and Filler in one, and Filler missed his fourth, fourth one. Did that cause him to lose? Yes, it did. Wow. Uh, Chang stayed pure on his. And Filler missed number four to send it to a oh, sudden death. He's going to have an elevated cue right here. These guys do this pretty well. Now he just, he just drops it right on the ball. I think he executes this. And oh, I man. thought wrong, but he's at the bank. Was it far off? But then you cut it. And then I didn't see where the cue ball ended up. To bank or to cut? Uh, he, he'll be. He can choose. He can cut it or he can bank it. I think you can choose. I think I would like to no, cut. I, I, I would bank this. Sanjay will probably cut it. He banked no, it. No, he banked it. Because it's a much bigger pocket, especially yeah. with sliding rails. The banks do play a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. when, the, when, the, when, the, when the cloth is new and slidey, it plays much bigger. And now he gets to get number one on the second set. Try to close it out in two sets. The first and the last games are always the hardest to win. <laughs> I, I preach that. I actually enjoy playing on very slippery cloth, mm -hmm. very new balls. I think okay. it's pretty fun. Uh, I actually like playing on newer equipment. I just like to, uh, I like it kind of where it's starting to bite. The rails are starting to bite. 
because I like to use a lot of, uh, not a lot, but enough inside English. And on new cloth, it usually doesn't bite, and it'll just uh, we lose speed off of it. Oh, I know what you mean. And Sanjin does take the first game. I'll put him up to 1 0. And uh, puts himself in a very positive position over Wu because Sanjin is breaking the balls well. Uh, both players are actually breaking the balls okay. With the third set, there still is a lot of pool to play. Yeah, six games. It could be up to six games. And it doesn't, you know, uh, I hear a lot of, you know, people complain about the uh, spot shot. A lot of people like the spot shot. I like the spot shot, personally. Do you? Now look at it this way. Can't blame the referee because he slug racked you. Um, you can't blame the table because it rolled off. <laughs> on the spot shot? On the spot shot. Because you're not going to shoot it at a, <laughs> at a speed that's going to roll off. No. If you are, you're shooting them wrong and you should lose. Um, you're not going to blame a ball because it's skidded. Because again, you're shooting the ball too hard and it won't skid. Yeah. I don't. I don't hit him that hard. No, I, like I don't hit him too mm -hmm. soft either. No. It's a quarter ball hit, so it's consistent. One uh, flew straight in the side there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's breaking from the side, and that's exactly where he's breaking him too. He's got a nice shot on the deuce. He can actually just cut it and come around the five. To end up perfect, or I think he, he's. By the way, he measured it. He thinks he can hold it with inside. Yes, and he's using inside. So. Oh, he just drew it. Okay, same the same spot. Those little thin cuts. I like. I like running the cue ball. Just slide it down. Yeah. But he had he had less angle than I thought, yeah. Because he just did it so easy, <laughs> and that's what's deceiving about this. I I, I I call the shot and then I watch him shoot it, and I said he didn't have half the angle that I thought he had. <laughs> I thought he. Too far back there. Oh, oh he's, he's okay. He should be fine. Because he's got to he's he's got to go up for the six. I think the five's out of the way there. The, well, the five's up in front of the pocket. Do you think he's going to run into the 10-ball? Uh, the angle, if, if he draws it, yes. He just puts a little low English, but he, he's going to run by it probably. I'd like running into the 10 here because it's going to be a real soft shot. Yeah, good shot. Now he's just going to run by the 10-ball to get on the six. Now that's right about there. Now keep in mind, if he doesn't get above the six for the angle, I like where he, he just pointed better for yeah, position. Yeah, he can play in the, th yeah. the corner too. Just bring it uh, maybe a couple of a few inches back is all he has to do for the seven because he needs an angle for the seven to go to the eight. A little bit short there, but he can. Any power to uh, um, I'd give myself the steeper cut on the seven because you can use both the long rails uh, to, to go to go to the eight. You mean come eight. behind it? Right. No, no, no. Just uh, st on stay on a straight line. Right there. Oh, we hit the eight. Now he's left himself a really steep cut. But Sorry, speaking of sp steep cuts. Oh, yeah, what, I, what <laughs> we were talking about to begin with, and that's a really steep cut. I was thinking on the other side of the 10, hopefully. That's not a steep cut. He might cut that thin on the right and uh, bring the cue ball up past the 10. I think that's what he's looking at. Unless he decides to bank it.
but it's one or the other, the safety, the cut, or the bank. Maybe for the bank, it looks a little short. It's going to prove costly. Did you see the cut? If he cuts on the other side, it goes around the 10. Yeah. If he makes a thin cut and the cue ball, I mean the seven ball only goes about a diamond's length uh, towards the right-hand corner pocket, he's going to be safe. Well, not safe, but he'll make him choose whether to bank it or shoot the same shot. Yeah. And Wu being Wu should work these out. He's on the wrong side of the eight ball. Now again, had he played shape for the corner, he'd just be drawing it back about a foot. Yeah. But he gave himself enough angle to come up for the nine. Now how do you like to play this? With right hand English or with just the hair left and playing the play the ten in the side? What do you what do you mean? Like this shot here. He, let's see how he plays it and I'll explain. Just like that. The left hand English and, and play the ten in the side. Or he could have gone with right hand English and wrapped it out of the corner for the ten in the oh, okay. pocket. Yeah, I like it in the side because it was closer mm -hmm. to that one part of the table. And we'll go for a one minute break and be right back, folks. Enjoy the highlight. Yeah, I feel unbelievable because last year I won a couple of youth tournaments. Uh, I won like a, uh, the first of the year, I won Derby. Then I won the World Cup full. I won the US Open, I won the, the World Elbow, this is um, Bosconi. So it's, it was a, like a dream for me. But uh, I feel, I feel in the, at the beginning of the year, I feel like a little bit pressure because I, I had a good year last year. But this year I, I won the World Nine Ball, so I feel really confident and looking for the rest of the season. But now I, I, I feel so focused in the Alpha Open and the World Ember. Second set. Tied at one. Go ahead, walk us through this break. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, describe the, the break, and, and for instance, he's playing the one on the side. Yeah. He's getting a good spread. He's going to have a shot on the deuce, it looks like. Oh, I see what you mean. I haven't. I'm not as knowledgeable on the break, the tempo break from the mm -hmm. side. Okay, uh, no, because you break a lot with the template. You hardly ever break with the with the hand rack, right? I, yeah. yeah, breaking from the middle, you're playing the two balls behind the one in the side yeah. pockets, um, varying your speed until you find the sweet spot. Yeah, and then you you're get playing your those two in the side, mm -hmm. and then the four others. I can say. Yeah. yeah. And each table, you know, you're gonna have to hit it with different speed. Yeah. This looks decently routine. Ooh. Wonder where he's putting this four ball. Well, let's see. There's an, the side there's an example of what I said about this uh, uh, about running the cue ball around when you play a ball. We play position to a ball in the side pocket. Oh yeah. He's got an angle on the three that he didn't really want to have. And now he just can't roll over for the for the four ball where he wants to. So he's gonna have to stun over, stun up, and play the four ball in the same pocket or all the way down to the corner. So he's gonna roll up and uh, oh, he oh, he played in the corner. Roll is soft, yeah. How sporty is that? Nice speed. And he could hit that just a little harder and play oh, the yeah. opposite <laughs> side. 
That should win him this round. Right there. He's stretching a little on this shot. Should be okay. The snow hill for a climber, there's just a little stop shot. Just a little spot. Just a little, just a little, little stop, stop shot. shot. Yeah. And now he's gonna. He can go two rails here for uh, a six in the bottom right hand corner. Oh no, he's got enough. He can go one rail too if he wants. I play or the six combo back. right here. You would? I would not. No. Okay. <laughs> so you're kidding us here. There you go. He'd like to come just a little further over so he could just go towards the side pocket with the cue ball for yeah. the seven. But he can work with this. And will oh, work. He with can this. go straight through. No, it doesn't look like yeah, the ten ball. He's gonna draw to the side and back. Okay, he had a lot more angle than I thought he did. Yeah, it's a little deceiving, some of that camera angles we're looking at. Yeah, it is. Now, some players try to, to go above the side pocket with this. Is he just twisting this? He's just using a little bit of uh, low English, just to avoid the side pocket. Oh. Oh. See, again, Different players address the cue ball differently. I thought he might be going above the side pocket, which would put him in danger. Yeah. Stretching. And he played it where I, I, I thought I would, I'd just go straight across. When I shoot a uh, shot to go just straight across, I use dead center English. I do too. And he actually looked like he was hitting it real low, but he probably brought his cue stick up a little bit um, at the end of the stroke. A lot of guys aim real low like that. And then they bring the cue up right when, yeah. they, when they deliver it. And Better does that, but he does it the other way. So when he's drawing, uh -huh. he'll have his he'll aim right at center cue ball, and then mm. bring his tip down when he's drawing. I aim, I aim it right where I'm going to hit it. Uh, that way, uh, my bridge adjustment. Is for my for my draw shots it gives me the the right um, height yeah. of the tip on the on the ball because I don't want to be dipping the, the tip of my cue. Yeah. I don't shot from the right out. And takes takes a little lead there. One game. It is a race to four, but. Sanjin seems fine with having Wu break the balls. <laughs> but what what else are you gonna do in your chair when can't. when your opponent's shooting? Can't do anything. Just look comfortable and uh, try not to. I I just I still profess tell people look at the table, stay focused on the table, yeah. watch what your opponent's doing, watch what the tables. How the balls were rolling on the table. Because you can learn from what your opponent's doing. You can help yourself. Mm -hmm. And you can see if the table's got some funny spots in it or something. Oh, yeah. Little quirks or rolls. You can also sit there and try and look scary. Well, there is that. <laughs> Who was it that seemed, it looked like he was glaring, glaring at, at, at him? Uh, Tyler Steyer. When he played, I forgot who it was he was playing just the last Shane match. Wolfer? Oh, no. No, uh, the last. Uh, uh, Mika? No. He was playing, so I was doing the commentary. I think it was. Wood or break right here. Decently solid. One ball might go. One in the ten ball. Do fall into the pocket. I can't remember who it was. It's just focused <laughs> on the match. Well, there goes the ten ball. At least he's going to get to shoot again. Oh, there goes the one ball too. So, but the ten ball will spot. The two oh, ball is could, hooked. He could do something with the ten ball here, can he? Is he hooked? 
I think he can see oh, some, he can part see of, some of it. Yeah. Um, well, he could cut the deuce into it. I mean, the do cutting the deuce to the pocket, the ten ball's in the middle of it because it's straight in, I think. Yeah. But um, if the ten ball hangs, his opponent's going to like it. So I'd rather not do that. I'm not sure how much of the two ball he can see. So. What did he call? I I, I couldn't tell. Two ball goes by the ten, so he's probably calling the two ball. Just playing safety. Look at this right behind the safe. six. How sneaky was that? Great shot, Will. See that tells me uh, that he was never playing the deuce because he, he would have been playing shape. If he was playing <laughs> the deuce. It looks like he does have the end rail. Yeah, but he's already got a half a ball to hit. Yeah. But that's the half you have to go for. He hit it. Yes, he did. A little harder, and he would have liked it a lot more than he's liking yes, this. Yes, he would. Yeah, when you're kicking balls, he, he hit that just, he hit it very well. He did hit it very well. He hit it as thick as he could hit it. Yeah. Eight balls problem, but you do have the combo. Combo is an option. I think the combo is very, very playable. Mm -hmm. Especially if you leave the cue ball on the same rail. Because you just play that, and then you have the eight ball in the same, and then the ten ball's right there. Oh, yeah. What I've seen from watching Wu is I think his cue could be a little more level. Mm -hmm. You think he's elevated? Just, just a little bit. Watch the point of his, uh, the tip. Watch the tip. See if it comes up when he shoots. Yeah. 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 That's why he's he's angled the way he is. What do you mean? You you think he's elevated, but when look look at look at the cue now yeah. as he delivers. Makes sense. He's level. I forgot what player I was playing when I was playing with the player one time. And I, and I said that to him. I said, you know, it looks to me like, if I remember the kid, it was Kevin Gwynn. Uh, Gwynn. A player from Tucson. And I told him, I said, I think your 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 cue's a little elevated. Your backhand's a little elevated. He goes, yeah. Yeah, but uh, I bring my tip up when I when I find when I follow through and my hand comes down a little bit. So I'm very when I hit the ball, I'm level. I said, okay, well, <laughs> if you know what you're doing with that, he's worked with it and he had some lessons and he was very happy with that. Oh. And after I watched him for a while, uh, it looked good. It made sense, and that's why when you noted. Because I, uh, I, no I noted the same thing, and then watch this tip come up just a yeah. hair. There's nothing else to criticize about Wu. Well, that's not a, that's not a critique. It's just an observation. Yeah. There's a difference. World class player. Yeah. You, could, you for instance, you could also say I think his backhand's a little. He elevates the cue just a little bit. We hit that one say, hard. Maybe I should do that. You know. <laughs> maybe you turn it around to a compliment. Yeah. And he's probably going to roll the cue ball right on top of the 10. Or will he play the combo? 
the con I think they're I think you can do both. You missed that by quite a bit. Surprising. I didn't think he would hit it as hard as he did. Well, if he hits it as hard as he did, he would have gone extra to come back from yeah, eight nine. He went an extra round. Oh shoot! Sanjin in some time trouble there. Him a shot at a combo. So, what was the issue? Something you said. I, can you say it louder so I can hear you? I didn't hear you when <coughs> I didn't get that. So, I think he called extension, and they said you don't have an extension, Sandy. And I, also, I guess that he didn't away. hear him. Yeah. Well, there's a there's a light on the on the screen out there that they can look at yeah um, that has a little light if that's on you have an extension if it's not you've used it it was mistake didn't cost him very much no because, well, when, when your opponent makes a mistake, it races any of yours. Yeah. Who takes the fourth game in the second set? He's the first to the hill. That's a big... Big mistake for yes, it is. for Sanjin because he's going. You know, he, he could tighten up the set there. Two, two. two, two right now. Yep. Now more likely he's looking at the third and deciding set. Yes, he is. Swing of the pendulum there. I had a question to ask, but I forgot it. <laughs> It'll come back to you. He's asked to take a break. Or he's talking to the ref. Does he only get one break? I'm not sure what the break situation is. That's I leave that to the players. Because, <laughs> see, we don't really, as commentators, we don't get involved with anything having to do down there. Yeah. We just try to explain what's going on. And right now, I'm not sure what's going on, except that he's not a happy camper. No, he is and not. And the referee is... Uh, Pretty much defending a uh, kind of a solid position. What I don't like is when commentators they talk about when players should take their breaks and when they shouldn't take the breaks. Well, I don't really think it matters. Uh, actually, uh, it does matter. <laughs> yeah. And the reason I said is I've heard some of the best commentators, someone like Jeremy Jones, yeah. or along those lines. Uh, there's an advantageous time and reason to take a break. Yeah. So, knowing those times and reasons, uh, sometimes it's just to kill your uh, opponent's uh, momentum. Yeah. Or sometimes it's just to clear your head. When I'm playing, which I is always the more important part. I always take my breaks for me. Exactly. Like you said, I take them to clear my head. Mm -hmm. And that's why you should take them. Yeah. But once in a while. Um, Depending on, on the, uh, I just, I, I like doing that. I've, I've never taken a break uh, to uh, slow my opponent down. Yeah. I've had them take breaks to slow me down. <laughs> I guess that was more what I meant. I, mean, I think it doesn't matter when you're trying to shirk the opponent. I, and, and this is why I, I wouldn't do it because it just to, to some guys it just makes them think yeah go ahead try it or yeah just, or some guys don't even notice go ahead most Doesn't of them matter. don't even notice yeah exactly so the only one that the only gamesmanship that you're playing is probably in your head and if yeah. you're thinking about it then you're thinking about doing something that can force your opponent off his game because you don't think you can beat him <laughs>
just cut this to the corner pocket, go by the six, probably stay above the six, and end up right where he's at. Could have made this a lot easier on himself. Well, he could just be, if he was over four inches, he'd be real happy. Yeah, he would. But for, for a lot of these world champions, this isn't, this isn't a shot to worry about. <laughs> it really isn't. It's just a hair more cut. Yeah. That's the way they look at it. They've all shot him before. And so have you. But you just think about him more because you haven't shot him as often. Yeah. This one looks weird. Yeah, he doesn't have too much angle to go over. He might draw this ball and, and play the five. That's what he just looked In the on. corner or in the yeah. side, if it goes in the side. Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure he thought he was going to get outside of the six ball. Instead, he kissed the yeah. six ball. So he didn't have as much angle as, as uh, he had a lot less angle than what, what I thought. I thought he was going to go outside of the six ball too. Yeah, he's in trouble, a lot of trouble here. He is in a lot of trouble. If Sanjin has cleared his head and cooled off, it pays off. But if he's in his head, nice hit, and he's going to be much better shape. Yeah. His chance of winning went up a lot. I feel like. uh, he's pretty much. Oh, he's got a kick and stick. He can yeah, kick he this towards the side. Now, see right here, I would call it in the side. Call it in the just side. Just in case. Because it. So, what if it doesn't? You're playing safe anyway. You only have something to lose if you don't call it in the side. Left he, hit, shot. he hit it too full. He was kicking to the rail and went over it. That's why he's not happy about it. This is just roll it in, I guess, and stay right there for the six. Well, these guys don't like to roll them in. They're like, well, I guess he did. And then oh, execute it right now. Um, this is why they don't roll them in. <laughs> but long straight in shots or long shots about like that, you just roll, roll them in. Uh, practice those. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's kind of like just aim at the spot you're shooting, just aim that, just. Follow through with your cue to that spot. I feel like yeah, I'm more accurate when I hit the softer. Do you? Yes. Okay. So I, I haven't heard a lot of other people say. Well, no, a lot of a lot of other players. Shane, for instance, will you will you Shane and even Federer? Shane's a big example. He's better when he's softer. No. Oh, I no, I was going to say, because Shane practices big shots, but he fires them. Yeah, you're about to say he's more accurate when he hits them harder. Yeah, right? yeah, because yeah, because that's that that's his practice. He, he uh, it goes back to playing being you know a little bit older where there's a lot of Brunswick. Yeah, Brunswicks are fun to fire pop balls into because <laughs> they make that little pop noise every yeah. time you hit the back of the pocket, and I mean you, you just you, you fire away. Have you heard the sound the predator tables make when there's no what is it called? In, it's in the bottom of all the pockets. The foam? Yeah, the foam. I, I felt the foam down there, yeah. Have you heard the sound they make when there's the foam isn't in there? No. I think it's very pretty. I'll have to listen for it, but <laughs> why would the foam not be there? I don't know. Well, he found his way back to the table on Wu's error. Who made a very big mistake. Well, he missed a missed a shot. It was a missable shot, but it was all oh my my. We got a good hit. Oh Can't wow. Do that, dude. 
What's going on? He just forfeited the match. What? Final 16. And he's that upset. He really did? Um, that would be, I don't know. And we are back, folks. Uh, on that miscue, Sanjit apparently is rather upset with whatever's going on in the in the arena, and that is treated as a forfeiture of the game. So he's very upset. When he gets back, I think he's on. I understand he's on break, trying to cool himself off. He goes back to the he goes back to the, the time fall foul that was called. And um, apparently he called for an extension, he didn't have one, and he never heard the referee say you don't have an extension available. So balls are being racked. There's Mark White. <laughs> For um, for Sanjin to come back, what are some of the matches looking like right now? Well, George? that's exactly what I was looking for. Um, they apparently haven't updated on my iPad, and every time I do this, it goes nuts. According to this, the first match on table 10 that started at 2 o'clock is still going, so my iPad is not updated. Who's waiting for an opponent? <laughs> His opponent <laughs> to come back? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what happens? Well, he's going to be breaking, so that's what happens. 64, not 16. Okay. Duan Kwok Wang defeated Kopi Nyi, two sets to zero. Van Boni defeated Conrad Yushishin, two sets to one. Joshua Filler uh, 
lost to Zhu Ling Cheng in a shootout. David Al Qaeda lost to Victor Zelinsky. Two sets to one. So this match right now is last 16, right? This is last 16. Uh, Daniel Masio leads in the second set, Oliver Sholoki, but Sholoki won the first set. So he's ahead in the second set after losing the first. And um, Bader Alawaldi has defeated Mika Imanen. Two Bader's sets playing to zero. good. And Sanjan Pelovanovic. See, that doesn't show the first set. And Vitali Patsuda trails, lost the first set to Max Lechner. What's going on? Some great matches shaping up. Oh, uh, where's Vitali? I think they're in the other room. Okay. So Sanjin is back in his chair, and we're going to start out with this third and final deciding set as he forfeited the last game. Sam Rabito racking the balls here for Wu. This, this third set will be very interesting. Well, Sanjay's got to get his head straight. Yes, he does. And Wu's, Wu's made several mistakes that Sanjay should have taken that second set. He and made a lot of mistakes. Two sets to zero. But that time file really played with his mind and uh, things progressed from there. And we saw what happened there on his miscue. One straight in the side again. He was going to have a great shot at the two ball there. But he got kicked by the nine. Okay. Nice call on break. I don't think he can cut it now, can he? Not sure. I'm not sure. Oh. Yeah, it looks like he might. I don't think there's any sh shape, though. As long as he, he just go ahead and cut, cuts it and the five ball stops his cue ball, it looks like. It does? It looks like it might. Uh, no, it doesn't. Not from this angle. From this angle, he can't. Yeah. No. I think he's looking at coming around. I'm not sure. I just to, from, from this angle, if he makes this ball, it's going to catch the five. If he does that, he'll be straight in on the other three. I would shoot a soft just hard enough to make it. And take the long shot on the three. You can be in an area where where uh, you can get position for the four. It looks like depending on what you end up with. I'm guessing that that, that uh, he can make the ball and hit the five. Let's see. But he's going to draw away from it. He was doing something completely different. Guess he couldn't cut it. Maybe it was too far down. I don't know. I'd look. Maybe the, the one of those angles looked good. The other one looked yeah. iffy. Maybe he could cut it, and he just didn't have anything after. Super straight in. Mm -hmm. And he just wants to go to the first diamond away from the pocket. 
so you can always see the ball. So he's he, he's going to be good here. That's far enough. Yes, it is. Now he can come down for the five. Just center English. Yes, he's coming straight down there. Now if, if Sanjin can play out this set the way he started out. I think he would like it. Boo has been making mistakes. Oh. He hit the nine ball. Can you clean the ball? This isn't a problem, the shot here. You can just spin this in, come up by the side pocket, yeah. and shoot the six. Shouldn't be a problem for him at all. I think this is the only shot that things can get funky on. Perfect. Yep. Should be good. Might have gone up just a hair more, but he's he's good here. He got enough angle to come goes. over. Yeah, to, to hit the rail and over back over. So far, he's telling me that I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he plays good now. Some some players can. Some players not, not so, so much. much. No, they're in a little bit of trouble. They're busy thinking about whatever it is that's bothering them. I like using right hand English here and, and, and um, going two rails towards the nine. Or straight up. It's probably smart, but I like her. It's probably smarter going two rails, but I like coming straight up. Uh, both. Uh, uh, in fact, I, I noticed a lot of the younger players like that. Um, the older guys, and it seems to me that some of the older guys and a lot of the Filipinos will use the two rail. Yeah. Because of the line shape. Yeah, I think it's smarter. But uh, you're not coming across your line. No. But it's what you're used to, and especially with new cloth, uh, if it's not grabbing that inside English, uh, you're yeah. spinning around. So, and this is all new equipment. Sanjin scores first. This is going to be the last set of the match. Well, upset or not, he would, it would be the last set of the match. Um, it is the deciding set since they're tied one apiece. Sanjin won the first set. He won the first two games, lost the game, and then they split games after that. And Sanjin ended up with a win, four to two. But then. Uh, Sanjin so started the second set with the break, winning the first game, but then Wu rattled off four games of his own. Yeah, he did. Thanks to a little help from, uh, from Sanjin. He did make some uncharacteristic mistakes in the second set. How big of a chance Wu do you think? Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. How big of a chance do you think this has of going to a shootout? Um. That's a good question. <laughs> I think if Sanjay San, San, San keeps his composure, uh, none. None? Zero? I like, I like Sanjay <laughs> when he winning win it out. But we're talking about 2021 champion. He is a, was a great, great player. So yeah, um, Sanjay is up and coming. 
you have to be an incredible player to make it to this stage of the tournament. Mm -hmm. Nine ball, hello. Try on the break. I thought he made a ball and Nemo was going to block him. Who's going to be upset? <laughs> Just cut it in, but don't scratch. Easier said than done. Afraid of the, if you think you might scratch, uh, bank and put the cue ball right by the three. Or just bank it past the five and use the five nine as a blocker. But I like the cut. I like the cut too. <laughs> Who's got a pretty nice watch on him? Funny. <laughs> I was sitting with Mark White and uh, he was talk talking about this player's shoes and I said, you know something, I never noticed his shoes. I never noticed he was wearing a watch. Really? Yeah. No. Wow. I watch, I look up and if they're left-handed or right-handed and I watch the stroke. Yeah. Uh, the tip of the cue. I don't pay much attention to the little details like the watch. I don't like shooting with a watch on, but I think it does make players look good. Do you get love from the point there? Um, I don't think he did. Well, the seven is not giving him any love because he's no. got to get the cue ball around and he's on the wrong side of it. Remember? It's on the wrong side because he's got to come around. I do remember. Yeah, see. Yeah, Is but he looking going at before the seven? Yes, he's looking wow. at it before the seven and going between the seven and ten to go around the table. Or is he looking? Could he draw it? Um, yes. Does he have an extension or not? I don't know if he's using, I don't think he's using an extension yet. No. It's not good. No, nope, that was gambling. And he's jacked up too. Well, he could be. Actually, I don't think he is. He might have been better off playing safe behind those balls. He's in trouble. And Pelovanovic is just aching, aching to uh, put a hurt on on anybody. I think either way he's going to be happy that he got back to the table. But the, the, this is what I mean. Uh, you didn't see uh, errors like what he's made, positional errors like this from Wu. Uh, in 2021 when he won the championship there. No, not at all. No, he played real strong. Right through everyone. Everybody is up and down. So. Oh, we all have our days. It's, and some things the stars are right for you. Too. Yeah. And to win a tournament like this, unless you're Federer, uh, Zhu Ling Chang, Top, you know, top, top tier of players. Even they still need breaks when they play each other. Yeah, they do. It's got weird. He can't see. Oh, uh, looks like he, the way he's shooting, looks like he can see. He, yeah, he, he can, can cut see it the in. five. He can cut it in. Yeah. In the corner. Then he just try to go uh, up and back and forth on the rail there, above the side pockets, stay above the side pockets. Yeah, he's been struggling with those all match. It hooks in general. I think he's got a good kick shot. Yes, I think that's what you're looking at now. 
Oh. Oh, that would hit the camera. <laughs> Sanders wouldn't have been happy. Not oh, a happy camera. What else would go wrong for him? Huh? <laughs> I think anybody would have been mad, though. Oh, look at this. Look at the skew ball. He scratched. I think it was the U.S. Open a couple years ago that a player broke and they tried to pick up their chalk and it hit one of the balls flying around the table. Mm -hmm. Forget exactly who that was. Uh, the nine ball U.S. Open? Or I think so, yeah. Okay. I, I, I don't, don't recall it. Probably wasn't there. Might have been a different tournament. No, it's probably match room. Yeah, it was a match room. Okay. And I wouldn't know too much about it. I'll watch it every so often. Just didn't stop the ball there and play the eight ball to the side and roll up for the run. Just play the eight in the side from the side? Yeah, from where he was when he shut the ball. Yeah, he Not from there. Just that he spun around the eight to play to the corner. It looked like it laid good. Maybe the angle is different than what I saw. But he's there now, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Two roads to get to one place. As far as he's concerned, I can keep on wondering. Yeah. <laughs> He'll go to the rail and back out to the middle of the table. For this 10. I'm wanting to see a shootout, aren't you, Jordan? Well, <laughs> we're tied. Yes, we are, one to one. But there's still, there could still be three games played. Actually, we need four games played. Yes, three, we three, do. Three. But if someone wins eight. And we're back in live action here at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino. Las Vegas, Nevada. Final 16, Sanjin Belovanovic and uh, Wukun Lin tied in the third and deciding set, one apiece. Race to four. But if they're tied to three, they go to a shootout. Just missed the side there. And the ball, six ball decided to make things interesting. And almost had something to say about that side pocket. Let's see where he pushes to. Break looks like somebody just came up and threw all the balls on the table. Will he push to a little bit of a jump there behind the six? I like doing it in my matches. I would not blame him. Oh, Sanjin will take this. Or will he? I think he should. I agree. Mentally. And he does. Looks like he's going to. Uh, 
no, he oh, changed he gave his it mind. A little bit of a fake out there. Well, as you look at it, cue balls. I don't know if he bring if he can bring the cue ball back a little bit. I like it. Yeah. But he's not straight in, so he's going to go forward with the cue ball, and uh, the a ball can come into play. More than likely, you can draw towards the corner pocket on the left too. And oh, there's that. The table. Good give back by Sanjin. That'll make himself feel better. <laughs> At least he knows he made the right choice. That's correct. Because you always question it. Should I have taken that shot or not? Yeah. But he did the smart thing. He got down on the ball and positioned himself to see if he liked the shot. Yeah. He I didn't. Would, I would guess it's so why he started to wonder. He's like, I don't like the shot. He gave it back. So the three ball, the four ball. Is, is he looking at a cheap game here? He, he could be looking at a three, nine, ten combo, hitting it soft, and leave the three, the, the, the three, ten combo for the side pocket. I didn't even see that shot because this it's straight in. So if he can get the cue ball yeah. straight in line with the three, ten, um, he can do that real soft. I think if he misses shape too, he can just play the three ball in one of the corners. Um, now, see, his, his cue ball won't be positioned because he won't be able to hit it soft enough and hold the cue ball there. No. So now maybe things change. Is he looking at playing safe? Or is he looking where he needs to be? I think he was trying to get straight in where he could play that real soft and then have the 310 combo. I think he was too. He took it anyway because it was there and he looked over to see what he might get. And he got enough. He has to, he has to, he has to shoot this real soft and stay there for the four. What is he doing? Oh, he played it off the 10. Opened it up. Yeah, there's. Figured he was doing something with one of those balls or to get this position here or just lay the cue ball on the rail and take the four ball down the rail. There's five balls available. Yeah. Yeah, it just it takes some thinking to Very smart how do you clear it? Can you play the six in the corner? If he chooses, he can just draw back a little bit and play the six on the side. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now there's two ways he can get on the seven. He can play the six in the corner, come across. He can cut it real thin, go two rails, or draw to the center and come towards the side. But coming towards the sides means there is a side pocket there. Yeah, and remember early, early when he lost the cue ball in the side pocket? Uh, was that this match? Uh, I wasn't here for that. Okay. He was not here for that. Perfect position on the eight ball. Little back, just back it out and play the ten ball. Same pocket. Or stop it and play it in the opposite. But that's much, much higher percentage. Get out same. And that took care of that rack finally. Two to one. Sanjin. Needs two more games. He's halfway move on there. Yeah, to move on to the final eight. So, other than the Pro Billiard Series tournaments, what tournaments do you play? Uh, you said there's not much in in Indiana. No, mostly for the, the last year, year and a half, I've been playing the JIC tournaments, the Junior International Championships. Okay. I played all of them last year, which was. Very demanding. But 
Where do they hold those? They've All had, over the country? Yeah. Oh, okay. They've had a couple on, well, most of them. Most of them are on the East Coast. Okay. They had a couple on the West. Yeah, I, I uh, well, I'm in Tucson, so we don't, if, they, if we have them in the West, they probably have them in Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, we did have one in Phoenix yeah. last year. I went to that one. It was very nice. But they had, last year specifically, they had one in Phoenix, one in Vegas, and um, I think that was it for the West Coast. And all, all the rest were on the East Coast. They have eight a year. That's quite cool. One but ball to the side, and uh, didn't get that, but he did get the two ball to the corner. Two goes in. And the he's got a shot on the one in the side pocket. It looked like it kind of stressed up for him, or set up for him. Got kissed to the top of the table, kissed again, oh, and I think it got kissed in position for a shot. That two ball got kicked. That two ball got kicked real hard. <laughs> oh. Ball. He can just roll this. I think he can go into the five, yeah. But then he has to get—he has to get a good shot on the uh, on the um, three to get on the four because. Wow. Now what if he goes off the eight? <laughs> what if he goes off the eight? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, again, I was looking at the—I was looking at the wrong ball there. He's—he's. Yeah, he's I th well, if he can draw this around the 10, he'd be in good shape. He's following. Looks like he's following, but I can't tell what he's doing. He's, he want, he's wanting to hit those and still come up. That was ambitious, but yes, uh, if he hits it the way he wanted to, I think exactly how he wants to. See, see, see the English he has? He's yeah. using it to run up. Just didn't run up enough. I think he's going to choose to cut it in. Play it safe. No, he played safe. Yeah. Play it safe. Didn't get it, and this is a spinner. He left to woo all of this ball. Spin this ball. In. Gotta be careful with the bottom corner pocket, though. That will give you that. Well, he wasn't careful with the bottom corner pocket, and now his opponent has ball in hand, the four ball hanging over a pocket, but the 7 10 tied up. Does the 7 go to the I think corner? it goes, doesn't it? No. Uh, he's looking at it. Must not go, then. It probably, if it's that close, it throws. If they're close enough, because it, it looks like they look like they were kissing. If they're kissing, the ball throws. It was only off a hair and a half. And with a soft shot, you can throw it, especially on your cloth. There's no way he's going to look at breaking them out here, right? Not if it, he's, he's looked at it enough that if he thinks he can make this ball, he's not going to break them out. No. no. He'll want to set himself up just the side of the, nut of the eight to play the six and then come around for the seventh half. Unless he doesn't feel it goes. I don't think he feels it goes because he didn't set himself up to do that. So he's going to play the, se the seven ball in the corner um, and bring the cue ball up just a hair. Yeah, but you take a look at that because it, look, yeah, it looks like they're close enough. He's still he's looking. Taking a look. Yeah, if it's, it looks, see, it looks it's to the right hand if side of the pocket. If they're froze, he can throw it. it exactly. And even if they're off, by just a little, little slip throw over. Don't forget about the time clock and that explosion. 
<laughs> oh, he's gonna. Oh, did he get behind her? No, he's okay. <laughs> Too close. Jeez. But see, he kept looking at that. Uh, uh, he, I guess he could have drawn straight back to get back. But um, he didn't decide oh, to. Not even that. touching. Oh, so no, then there was no throw. That's why he didn't play. Wow. So all that it'll throw in to get back to no avail because they weren't even touching. There was a lot of space in between. So who's using the messy chalk? <laughs> the ball needs to be cleaned that much. Sanjin is cleaning the ball a lot. Well, sometimes you do that to take the referee off. <laughs> I'm thinking, is I he? don't know. I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would ask for the eight ball to be clean now. <laughs> Straight up. He's still okay. It's not just a guy from here, you see. Yes, he will. He would have liked to up a little higher. Yeah, he's all right. You see, he, he, it doesn't matter if he uses the bottom rail or not. I actually go ahead and use it. Yeah. Put a hair right in, right hand English on it and go to the right side of the 10 and just come back up. Yeah. yeah. I feel like this is a shot that doesn't get practiced enough. I, I agree. It's a, it's a it's a shot that comes up all the time. Yeah. And here he is. Needs one game to win the match. We we'll really we're going to go to a one-one break, and I'll uh, be right back. Breaking the last time in this set. This could be the last game. And it'll be his last break. Yes, it will. But he needs to get this game and get it done with. Both players. This has been a kind of a very, very funny flow to this, yeah. to this game and to this commentary. Very weird back and <laughs> forth. Can you get around the eight to get to the two ball? I was going to say, can you go between the inside the nine or the two? Not really sure. The side. Yeah. Oh, you could have hit that a little harder. Yeah, he's right in the middle of both of them. Mm -hmm. Plus the eight ball. I still like him to make it, but.
again when he uses a three ball here? Or is he drawing past the three ball and then back out? I would hope he would. Minus the mm -hmm. three ball. He got very good. Yep. And he's happy to be between those two balls in that little <laughs> window. Yeah. I got This could go to. A, this could go to a shootout. Yeah. This run out here, and then, you know, this is when champions uh, shine. Yeah. Was not out of this match at all. Where do you get on this six point, George? Right where the cue ball is now. That'd be a lot smarter than what I was thinking. All right. So he, he's looking at playing seven corner. Who has a very, very good looking cue? Does he? Yeah. Lou doesn't like side pockets. <laughs> no, he does not. I got on this eight ball. Mm. Let's see, I'm going, I'm going, I'm following this two rails. Two rails To out. get on this nine ball for the side. In the side? Yeah, because it lays just right. If you lay it on the rail over here, you're straight in. But he's going to go harder and play why in not, the same yeah. corner. I was going to say, why not two rails in the corner? To me, it just, when it lays right, if you can lay it right up, right up here, you're going to follow straight down for the 10. Yeah. Now, he just went around, which is also a, you know, a choice. Yeah. Preference, he likes moving the ball around a little harder, and he was sure to get it. See, I, I felt I'd be sure to get it there, so that's yeah. why I say it at the side. Well, we're closer. He's closing in. Sanchez now wishing he uh, would have closed this match out <laughs> because now can we go to a shootout? In which case, Sanjay can deal more with the referee and uh, <laughs> get more in his head. Hopefully not. What's Hopefully that mean? he's over <laughs> it. Hmm? So what's that mean? Well, he's going to be the referee be around the table more. And uh, I get the feeling that he doesn't want to look at him right now. <laughs> he's not happy. He wants to look at the table, and that's Lord. it. This will be the last break of the match, no matter what. Yeah, he's trying to compose himself. Breaking around here would be very good timing. Well, one of the things I've heard from several people and a couple of the other commentators is the player that wins the the last the last set coming from behind is usually the one that's in position to win the shootout. Really? Yeah. And from what I've seen so far, that's been been the the case. Three on the break, wow. It's the mental momentum. Wow, two ball, three balls on the same side. 
And then look at the mess from where he broke from. <laughs> all on the same side. But it can all get right, right quick. Six ball goes. You can always play the six off the eight in the side pocket and everything opens up. Yeah. And you're going to be right there with the five. So pretty much you make this ball get on the five. You got to make the four first, excuse me. Little twister in there. Uh, no. The four goes. So he's going to follow the five to the five. Come out to the middle of the table to play the six, or play the six to the corner. But then the eight ball stuff. So yeah. that's, I like playing the six off the side, off the eight. I open it up. Getting the breakout angle is tough. Or getting the breakout angle on the six is tough for playing it in the corner. I agree. I I I was shooting the five. Oh, I was shooting the five before the four though in my head when I was <laughs> figuring that out because I didn't see the four. I was looking up and didn't, didn't, didn't see it. I think, I'm, I think my eyes are getting pretty tired. That's what it sounds like. I think, I think he has to play the six in the bottom corner. Yeah. But the eight ball still doesn't do anything. So he's, he's got to get out. See, he's come out to play the six in the side. Off the eight, kind of has to, because oh, he, how the eight ball move? What do you mean? A second ago, it looked like the eight ball didn't. Oh, never mind, because we had a different camera camera angle. Um, it still doesn't go by the nine. Yeah, it doesn't go by the nine. So now you play this off the, you play it off the eight. Great shot. Uh, it goes in the other corner, yeah. so. But is he too straight? I think you can still play it in the side. The nine ball in the side. Is he clean the ball? Did, was he, did he ask me to clean the ball? I think so. Okay. I I don't know. The clock stops for that too, huh? Yes, it does. He's, draw, he's drawing back to the rail and back, I think. Is he drawing 18 feet for this Yes, one? he is. It's not coming. I don't think he got there. Well, you still cut it in. Yeah, you can still cut it in. And you go around. Four rail, mm -hmm. four rail position. Mm -hmm. Let's see how he hits this one. I think he makes it. But I've been wrong a lot this this match. Overcut. Yeah. Sanjin very, very glad to be back. Yes, he is. He's got control, keep his opponent off the hill, and just close out the set. And the nine to the Is he going to bank it in the corner where he's standing? Go for it. Or is he looking for the little safety? Show us something. Bank it. Put all three balls in line for a safety. That's what I like. Oh, man. Good shot. You know, you, want, you, want, you wanted the... <laughs> I wanted him to bank the hero it. hero shot, huh? Yeah. Yeah. 
This is a much smarter shot. It is. Higher percentage. And the great thing he did is he didn't leave the nine ball on the rail. Or close to, real close to the rail, make it easier to kick in. I could get my hero shot right here, though. Yeah, if he makes this. But being off the rail is you can hit either side and not get there. Now Sanjan has got himself a match winner. He makes this ball. It does go by. The door is open for Sanjan. Yep. Shot. He's walking through it. This 10 for the match, and to get into the final eight, Sanjin Pelamanovic. Match winner for Sanjin. Shot. Sanjin moves up. Whoop. Kun Lin settles for the final 16. Good match from Sandin. This is George Teixeira and Payne McBride. Thank you very much for tuning in, folks. Uh, interesting match. Have a great day. <laughs>